Hello guys and welcome to another redstone tutorial and this time we're gonna look at a pulse extender. A pulse extender is kind of a uh, is it a contraption in which you give a pulse and it takes uh, a longer amount of time for it to run out if you know what I mean. So basically if I press this button the lamp goes out as soon as I as the button releases. But this has quite a nice function you can change how long the signals is gonna be so let's say I'm gonna press uh, use this that way it's gonna take longer so if I'm pressing this all the way to the edge you can see that the lamp stays on way longer and this is the longest and if I put it down here again it's gonna be quicker again. and the contraption is really easy um, ignore all this but stuff that's purely to light up the piston this is all you need basically there's a torch that's locking this uh, comparator so this signal is stronger than what's in here and as soon as this torch unlocks so as soon as you press the button this signal passes through so the um, uh, the signal coming from the item frame and depending an item frame you can put it on the side and this signal becomes stronger now there is this um, this contraption which basically it runs through once and it then decreases the signal by one so this is one tick this is one tick so in every two ticks it decreases the signal by one so when you when it's on normal it basically immediately loses its power whilst if this is on a higher power, so let's say it's 5, it's gonna take 10 ticks for it to um, actually work. And now you can increase this even, so let's say you want to increase this, so you're gonna do this and this and then blocks on the side and then redstone. And this is gonna take twice as long, so on one it won't be much of a difference. I forgot to put this here let me place this down again like this okay my bad um cauldron that's my bad again there we go so if i push this you can see it's the same though i extended it by so by two comparators that's two ticks for every tick on this so right now this is gonna be on here for a very long time it's like three seconds nearly that's pretty useful because some contraptions allow you need uh, require you to have different uh, pulse lengths and this way you can like adapt your pulse length based on the input um, for example some doors let's say you have a door you have, an, uh, you have a piston door However, you want to transport some animals through it, like normally you can walk through it, but now you have some animals you want to put through it. You can extend the time the door is open by switching up this item frame, and that might be pretty cool. So, in order to make this, um, I will show you that right now. Alright, to get things started, you need yourself building blocks. So, I'm going to go for wool as a building block. Then, I you need two uh, comparators four comparators actually for the base model and you need a couple of redstone and a redstone torch and that's all you need of course you also need your item frame and something to put in it I'm gonna use a redstone torch so first off you're gonna build yourself a platform like this one side is gonna have the button which I didn't have yet so place a button and that button is gonna have the redstone torch which is basically controlling the lock so now I place a redstone dust next to it and out of there place two comparators one two comparators All right, like that now not a block a comparator like that um, now place a item frame on the side with a block in it now you can see that this has a f uh, like a very small input to it now go a block down and then place a block here then place a block here these blocks and you have this platform now place a comparator going out here and going in here place a piece of redstone here two pieces of redstone on the side and that's basically your 
then now you're basically finished. If you want to increase this, all you'll have to do is place two blocks behind it, remove these, place two uh, comparators facing the same direction as they already were, and then place the redstone behind it. All you have to, um, to draw an output from here, you basically use a repeater from any of these angles here or here, um, or from this block. You can use a redstone line, but make sure that um, it's then directly connected to something. Because if I press the button right now, you'll see that this line actually, so let me just put it high. You'll see that this line actually decreases in strength. So if you have something on this end, it won't work. So make sure to use a repeater if you want to draw a signal out, if you want a reliable signal. There we go. It's a steady signal. Right, that's everything for today. Very short uh, tutorial, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was useful for you. And other than that, thank you for watching. Make sure you like if you liked, and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thank you once again, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.